My name is Catherine Mundell and I am going to eat a tarantula for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is I have always loved writing food in books and I've always loved reading food in books. I think it's often the best bit and the bit you remember. The only thing that I have never eaten that is in my books are the tarantulas that the four children in the Explorer eat in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. And today we are going to change that. This is the moment in the book where the four children, who are called Fred, Con, Lila, and little five-year-old Max, eat tarantulas. Fred speared his tarantula on a stick and held it over the fire, watching it turn dark brown in the flames. Lila toasted Max's for him. Con's lay still by the side. She refused to look at it. It's a spider, she kept whispering. After ten minutes, the spiders began to whistle, a sound like a tea kettle. That's a sign they're ready, said Lila. Fred gathered all his courage together. He pulled the tarantula off the stick. It was hot and crispy, but it looked unambiguously spidery. He held his nose and bit a leg off. He was astonished. They taste a little fish-like and salty, like the sea. He took another larger bite. It's not that bad, he said. Con stared at him, incredulous. You're eating spiders. You do realise that, don't you? Max took a bite of his. He spoke with half a spider leg hanging out of his mouth. They should sell them at the pantomime with the ice creams. So this is a zebra tarantula and it's 100% ethically sourced and apparently, apparently not undelicious. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that does taste like a spider. Tastes a little bit like prawn, a little bit like chicken, mostly like spider. I'm very thrilled to have tried it and I think you should try everything once including tarantulas.